Hey guys, it's Samos and first of all I want to thank you each and every one of you, everyone who supported me throughout this year, everyone who left a like and a comment under my videos and everyone who gave me a shout out. Thank you very very much. So now let's get to the circuit and today I have the tutorial plus explanation of my hybrid storage V2. Here we are in the main hall and as you can see there are four corridors and each of them has a different layout. Like here we have normal blocks, here we have stairs and slabs and here we have item frames. It's pretty seamless and nice looking, at least in my opinion, and really compact. So here in the main hall we have two inputs. This one with the green concrete is the main input and you can feed in it everything you want like unstackables, normal items, empty sugar boxes and sugar boxes. Over here instead we have the input for the uh, refilling system on top and here you have to input only empty sugar boxes otherwise the system could break. If you happen to input uh, empty sugar boxes over here there's no problem at all. The system will process them and send them to the right input. So let's run a little test here. And if we go into spectator mode, we can see the input system plus the item batcher. It is pretty cool and compact, but I'll leave it for another video. And over here we have the item batcher by Repscalion. It's a really good uh, redstoneer, and I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. The item uh, will travel through this bubble column and then to the water streams until they, found, they find the right sorters. And yeah, on top here we have the Minecraft station logic plus the storage for the empty sugars. And down at the bottom we have the unstackable sorters. Here we have the water bottle, cake and the iron sword. Perfect. So let's see if it's working. 32 oak planks, nice. Here 32 stakes and 32 white stained glass, nice. So one other feature of this system over here, where is it? Here. As you can see a lamp is turned on, that means that this slice is in sugar mode and all the items that will go into uh, this slice won't go into this chest but actually will go into the sugar box over here. And the quantity of items that you want here is completely customizable and uh, we will get to that later and uh, yeah that's it and now I'm gonna explain how all the components work and then I'm gonna make the tutorial before getting to the new circuit I want to give you a quick fix for my previous design in case you've already built it and you don't want to build a new one as you can see this design is not 1.16 compatible anymore because of the new redstone mechanics. Over here the redstone will power this block and will lock forever this hopper so the system won't work at all. Luckily I was able to make a quick fix over here in the back. The only part you need to change and yeah the other parts are completely identical. Make sure to build these grass blocks plus oxidases otherwise the system won't work and the storage will explode. As you might have noticed, this design right here that I'm currently using for my storage it's not the same as the one that I've showed in the trailer here. That's because I've completely overlooked two major issues that this one has. So now I'm gonna explain how the new one works and I'll leave it up to you to understand uh, what are those issues. So let me know in the comments if you can spot them. Let's start from the top. 
part here, the gray circuit, is just a really compact item filter with overflow protection and it works like that. Here we have a signal strength of 2, when it turns into a signal strength of 3, the observer detects it and will activate the sticky piston that will turn on, uh, that will unlock the hopper. So now the item will travel through this hopper dropper chain until it reaches the chest. Now we have the blue circuit that controls the shulker mode. So when the signal strength of the double chest is higher than the signal strength of this barrel, or in the other case of this barrel right here, the lamp will turn on here for visual feedback and this piston will retract the cauldron that will lock this hopper here. So basically it, it switches from a normal item sorter to a sugar box loader. One important thing to keep in mind when building this module is that these two modules here needs to be the same, needs to have the same signal strength of the barrel because as you can see here the comparator points into the other barrel and it will transfer the, the signal down here so basically you need to have in this barrel the same or higher signal strength than the top one now we have the green circuit that is just like a normal sugar box loader circuit so when we have 23 items inside here this dust turns on and uh, will lock this hopper and will, re will break and replace the shulker here. Yeah, so now the last circuit is the yellow one that uh, it's uh, controlling the refilling system for, sh for empty shulker boxes. And when a shulker box is broken and replaced, here we don't have another one and turning off this comparator will activate the request line and will unlock the hopper but at the same time it will lock the filter right here as you can see so you if you don't have any more uh, shulker boxes in the storage this system won't break yeah so now when a cart passes through it will uh, give another sugar box and yeah, and the request line will turn off as well as the uh, item filter. Another great feature of this design is that it's eight block long. So if you want to mirror it on the other side, it becomes uh, sixteen block blocks. So you can fit it in one chunk if you if you wish if you're worried about chunk unloading stuff and whatnot yeah that's it so if you spotted the major issue major issues here let me know and write a comment the minecart system logic is really really simple the only conditions that need to be satisfied in order to send the minecart into the system to refill some slices are that there are some empty shulkers in the minecart and the request line is on. So here the gray circuit is just an end gate that when those conditions are satisfied it will send the minecart. So let's check it. Yeah, so the minecart will keep going until the request line will turn off or it runs out of shulker boxes. One other thing that I did is giving a bit of delay between sending before sending the minecart again so it can refill itself and one extra feature that I've added is this blue circuit here that its function is to notify the user when there are no more shulker box in the storage. So here we read from the minecart and from the not block we detect when the minecart is on is on the detector rail and if 
if the maker is on the detector rail and there are no signal here, a clock will start and will notify the user. Yeah, that's it. It's really, really simple and straightforward. Before doing the tutorial, I just want to say that you don't need to build a cross-shaped system like the one I've just showed you, but you can have a straight line one, like this. And the only thing you should worry about is leaving a block of space in between every 15 blocks just for the for linking the request line and yeah you can expand it as far as you want so now let's get to the actual tutorial let's begin with the bottom part that is the most difficult one out of the whole system because it's, it's too white tileable and you need to configure each barrel so here you need two blocks two comparators reading from the chests then an observer here, two observer, observers right here, then we can place a barrel here, another one here and the last one over here. Then a comparator reading from the top one and a comparator reading from the uh, bottom one and a piece of dust right here. Uh, be sure to check if all the comparators are in uh, compare mode. Now we can set up the uh, quantity of items that we want. So here, for example, I want to fill the first go, and I'll get a signal of five. So that means that when this chest uh, will have a signal strength of six, it will turn into a, a shulker box loader. Now the bottom one needs to be at least at the same level as the top one otherwise it won't never be activated as you can see here the comparator is transferring the signal down there and this resonance dust is feeding into the other comparator if this was lower as you can see here the comparator will be turned off forever so now let's go on with the visual part. So we need one block here, another one block here, and one here. A repeater here, two sticky pistons, and two blocks of redstone. Then we need a, a not block to update this piston by quasi connectivity. And if you are annoyed by the sound of it, you can always put a block on top to make it silent. Now the last thing we need to do is taking an output from the comparator to know when we need to switch the mode. So here, two sticky pistons, one, another block right here, two comparators, two blocks that will lock these uh, hoppers right here, and then two cauldrons we have everything you want in it doesn't doesn't really matter you can use these even composters as well I've used the uh, uh, cauldrons just because they blend better with my texture pack and that's it for the bottom part the top part is way simpler than the bottom one because it's one white tileable so it's always the same for every slice here we have the slab another hopper, a comparator reading from it, two blocks, two rest on dust, and one observer here, another one here, then we need a sticky piston with an observer and a sticky piston with a rest on block. Now we can place a hopper, a, sorry a dropper, two hoppers, another dropper and other two hoppers. Remember that the last one has to point on the side. Now we can place another observer with a three tick repeater on top, one sticky piston with a, another observer. The dispenser right here 
with two hoppers on top and a powered rail. Now we can read from it with a comparator plus two torches and the last one on top with the reset line and now we can build the item filter one comparator pointing into this hopper another one reading from the top one here a piece of dust two observers like that and a cauldron or a composter here before placing the uh, sticky piston right there you need to set up the filter so for example let's say i want here the, the item filter like yeah i know enchanted golden apple but ideally you want renamed items and you want to filter uh, repeater you need 41 of them right there and yeah now you can place the stick piston here and the water stream over here and yeah that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next video